What's up guys? Ken with Quadcopter.us here. Just want to show you my new production uh, frame, Illumin X. Illumin X, guys. You can see the decal. Um, this is a new dome with the, with, the, with the 6061 aluminum ring. It looks just like that. So that's, that's how the, the dome comes. Let me just give you a brief overlook here of the frame. Um, size, just under 17 inches, motor to motor. For props, you can run 8 inch and 10 inch. 4 cell, 3 cell, whatever. Um, the frame is under 300 grams. Bare frame, without the dome and stuff, is like 250, 250 grams. Um, it's a lot of mill work. It's a lot of aluminum mill work on this thing. I mean, I put so much time. My battery's going dead. I put so much time into this, guys. Um, I make all my parts, all my frames. One of my machines there. I have another machine that's coming Friday um, to help me speed up things. But you can see the mill work here. Um, that mill out there, you can run this arm upside down or the other way. Just flip it over. It's flat. The benefit of having it here is you can have your motor more lower profile, so your props lower. Um, and that'll fit up to a 31 millimeter diameter motor, that little hole there. Um, then there's a little cut out there that's for your wires to come out of your motor so you don't bend them up and stuff like that. So just to make it a clean look. Um, the whole frame is 6061 aluminum. It's 99.9 .9 aluminum. The only non-aluminum part is the dome, that clear dome, and the four screws and the Velcro. That's it. The rest of the frame is 100% 6061 aluminum. The chassis in the middle is made up of 1 16th or 0 0.062 thickness aluminum arms, quarter inch, 0 0.250 inch thick aluminum arms. Um, I spent a lot of time milling them out. I mean, these are milled on a router, so you're going to get a nice mill finish. Um, guys that make laser arms out of uh, laser frames out of aluminum, they get a dull finish. They don't get a good finish. That's why they usually they paint them or they anodize them. Um, but I think the, the bare aluminum, after I lightly mill sand it, I sand it with sp sanding sponges, blocks, to give it a, rid of the heavy scratches, you know, and it still gives a good, nice finish. Um, you can run that. These plates will come with plus mode or X mode, so you just swap the plates around and you can run either way. Um, you got these accessory tabs here. I'm only going to put two on this frame now, but if somebody wants a custom one, they want four, that's up to them. Um, like I said, it's under 17 inches motor to motor, so you can run 8 inch and 10 inch props. It's under 300 grams. Um, it's only being held together with 8 screws, 8 nuts, as you can see. 4 on the inside there, 4 on the out. And then the 4 screws and nuts that hold the dome on, which I'm using plastic for those, but metal for the screw. Um, you can see how the, the design here is all conform. It's a circle, um, so everything fits and flows right, as you can see here kind of a circle see bottom you can see the venting holes so if you have 12 amp speed controllers you can run them inside here like I do on my other frame there's videos of that 12 amps with four cell and uh, 20 50 uh, s motors or whatever even smaller motors really good really good because um, I run 12 amp on the other one and it does really great so um, see the holes on the arms here are for mounting legs and the way that I'm going to do the legs are they're just going to be a couple standoffs come down that are connected with a piece. I'm not going to include it with the base package because for sport flying you really don't want legs. You want a low profile you know frame setup. Um, but those will be an option. Prices will be on the website for those too. But uh, the frame will be is available now so I'm going to put it up on the site. This will be production run model. I won't change the design of the arms or the center chassis. The only thing I might do is maybe add tabs but again that's for custom jobs. So. Um, I make all this, guys. I make every part on this except, you know, screws and dome, obviously. But, um, you know, everything I sell, I make on here. Everything aluminum. Uh, you know, I got a machine over here. I got another one coming on Fridays to help me speed up production. But, you know, I, I don't have anybody make my stuff. So when it's in stock, that means you're next on the list to make it. You know, custom frames take me a little bit of time to make. And, of course, if you're international, shipping takes a long time, guys. You know, be patient, you know. Um, I'm one guy. I'm one one man operation. I wish I can afford somebody to help me, but I can't. You know, I'm I'm barely trying to keep the prices low for you guys to have, you know, good products. This is a sport frame. You could bash this thing around. You know, you, you fall down hard. Yeah, your arms might bend. You just pound them back. But the good thing is, I'm only going to charge these. Uh, these arms are going to be cheap replacements, and they'll be available on my site. 
the mounting pattern for the arms, all frames, all my Iconic X frames will work. You can use these arms on the FPV, on the, the smaller sport frame, but not the carbon fiber one. So all interchangeable. That's where I came up with the buildaquad.com idea that I was going to make all my parts interchangeable. So, um, but that's it. Aluma X, Aluminum X, 400, 430-ish millimeter sport frame made by Iconic X, guys. Check it out on the site. Link below in the description. If you got any questions, just let me know. Um, oh, the mounting pattern for the motors, 25 millimeter. Maybe a little bit extra than that, but you can go 25 millimeter diagonal. So um, you could pretty much use any motor on there. You're, you don't need a big, giant motor around here. You know, I mean, it's so light. You know, it's under 300 grams, 250, whatever. So that's it. Lum Luminex by Iconic X, guys. I'll just do a quick, quick uh, overview of it. the other side here. Real good precision cuts. Everything lines up. No sharp edges on these. I sand down these plates so you're not going to get sharp cutting edges on the aluminum. Uh, and the dome is removable and will fit KK boards or any type of board with the 46 millimeter mounting, 45 millimeter mounting, and even KKs that have uh, top mounting um, ESE cables. They'll fit because I have another frame here. They all fit underneath. Those are speaker, Those are 12 amps. So that's it guys. Luminex, Iconic X, quadcopter.us. Talk to you later.